Yeah. Yeah, look, we haven't talked about specifics yet. This is all we've talked about is this process of endorsement. And, uh, look, I'd be willing to do whatever is necessary to help ensure that Joe Biden wins. But on top of that, to tell the Republicans, the 20 percent, we'll call them Haley voters, for lack of a better term, the 78,000, I think, Republicans in Georgia that voted against Donald Trump, even though Nikki Haley was out of the race, to tell those people it's okay. We've become a country where our political stripes have become our identity. And it's really hard to shed your identity because that's everything you believe about yourself. But our identity has to be, as I believe it was you, one of you two said, our identity has to be Americans. It was you. It has to be that we are Americans who defend democracy. So whatever the campaign asking me, certainly I'd be open to doing it. I want to make sure that Republicans particularly understand you don't have to agree with everything Joe Biden says. You probably don't agree with everything Donald Trump says. And by the way, you probably don't agree with everything your spouse says. But this is about defending the greatest country in the world. My grandfather stared down the Nazis in World War II. He went in just after Normandy. He could never talk about his experiences. He, he never, I remember once at the Thanksgiving dinner table, I tried to talk to him, and he just started crying. That's, that's the extent of what I could get out of him. I think about what that generation and my grandfather and my generation in the post-9-11 wars has given, literally the ultimate sacrifice for this country. It is not much of a sacrifice for Republicans to say, I'll vote Democratic this year to defend the very same cause. So whatever role that takes, I'll take it, because to me, I've said this every two, and all you guys that follow politics, every two years it's the most important election of our lifetime. This actually is the most important election of our lifetime.